Top 10 Places to Visit in Croatia 2024 Welcome back to Paradise Planet, folks! In today's video, we are delving straight into a country that's hard to beat when it comes to its stunning coastline, crystal clear blue waters, historic old towns, and over a thousand islands. This is the land of Croatia and here are 10 mind-blowing places that you don't want to miss out on in 2024. But before you watch this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button because it is absolutely free. With that one, enjoy watching friends! Number 10, Pitvitsa Lakes National Park If you love nature, you can't miss Pitvitsa Lakes National Park. It's one of the most beautiful places in Croatia and maybe even the world. Imagine walking among stunning waterfalls, crystal clear lakes, and green forests. Sounds amazing, right? Pitvitsa Lakes National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and for good reason. It has 16 interconnected lakes, each with a different color and depth. The lakes are surrounded by limestone and dolomite rocks, which create natural dams and waterfalls. You can explore the park on foot using the wooden boardwalks and bridges that cross the lakes. Or you can take a boat or a train to see different parts of the park. You can visit Litvitsa Lakes National Park as a day trip from Zagreb but you'll probably want to stay longer. There are many hotels and guest houses nearby where you can relax and enjoy the scenery. Litvitsa Lakes National Park is a must-see destination in Croatia and you will never forget its beauty. Art and Cuisine of Rovin Ravdin is a charming port city on the Istrian Peninsula and one of the most popular tourist spots in Croatia. It has a rich history and culture influenced by the Venetians, Romans, and Croats. You can see the traces of these civilizations in the architecture, art, and cuisine of Rovin. The old town of Rovin is located on a former island connected to the mainland in the 18th century. It's a maze of narrow streets, colorful houses, and cozy cafes. The centerpiece of the old town is the Church of St. Euphemia, a Baroque masterpiece with a 60-meter-high bell tower. From the top, you can enjoy a panoramic view of the city and the sea. Rovin is also a great place to enjoy the sun and the water. You can swim at the pebbly beach of Balota or take a boat to the nearby islands where you can find secluded bays and sandy beaches. Rovin is a lively and lovely city and you will have a lot of fun exploring it. Number 8. Var Town Var Town is the capital of Var Island and the party club of Croatia. It's famous for its nightlife with trendy bars, clubs, and beach parties. But Var Town is not only having fun, it's also a beautiful and historic town with a lot of charm and character. Var Town dates back to the 13th century when it was a naval base of the Venetian Republic. It has a well-preserved old town with a spacious main square, a Renaissance cathedral, and a Gothic palace. You can also visit the Fortica, a medieval castle that overlooks the town and the harbor. The fort offers a spectacular view of the sea and the nearby islands. Var Town is also a great place to relax and enjoy nature. You can sunbathe on the pebbly beaches or take a boat to the Pakaleni Islands, a group of small islands with crystal clear water and hidden coops. Var Town is a place where you can have it all history, culture, and fun. Number 7 Osijek Osijek is the capital of Slavonia, the easternmost region of Croatia, and the fourth largest city in the country. Osijek is known for its gastronomy as it is the home of some of the most delicious and spicy dishes in Croatia such as the Kulen sausage and the Rivji paprika fish stew, both flavored with paprika. Osijek is also a historical and cultural center as it has a beautiful Baroque-style old town, a majestic neo-Gothic cathedral, and lively cultural scene that includes the largest Tambura festival in Croatia, a musical event that celebrates the traditional string instrument. Osijek is a destination that will surprise and delight you with its flavors, sights, and sounds. Number 6. Dubrovnik Dubrovnik is a stunning and most popular city on the southern coast of Croatia. 
Facing the sparkling Adriatic Sea, it is famous for its well-preserved old town which is surrounded by massive stone walls that date back to the 16th century. The old town is a treasure trove of historical and cultural attractions such as the Gothic Renaissance Ponza Palace, the Baroque St. Blaise Church, and the Franciscan Monastery with its 14th century pharmacy. You can also enjoy the lively atmosphere of the Stradlin, the main street lined with cafes, shops, and monuments. A must-do activity in Dubrovnik is to walk along the city walls which offer breathtaking views of the old town and the sea. Dubrovnik is a perfect destination for history buffs and lovers of scenic beauty. Number 5. Skradinsky Book Waterfall in Karka National Park if you love waterfalls, you can't miss Skradinsky Book, the largest and most spectacular waterfall in Croatia. This stunning natural wonder is made of 17 cascades that flow into a crystal clear pool. You can admire the waterfall from various angles as you walk along the wooden ridges and trails that surround it. Skradinsky Book is located in Kraka National Park, a lush green oasis that is home to diverse flora and fauna. You can easily reach the park by car or bus from the nearby town of Sibenik. Once you're there, you can also enjoy swimming in the refreshing water or explore the historic mills and ethnographic museum that showcase the local culture. The park is very popular in the summer so plan to arrive early to avoid the crowds. The entrance fee and opening hours depend on the season so check the official website before you go. Number 4. Sibenik Shibenik is a historic city in the heart of Dalmatia and a perfect base for discovering the wonders of the Croatian coast. It's close to some of the best beaches, islands, and national parks in the country. You'll never run out of things to do and see in Shibenik. Shibenik is the oldest Croatian city of the Adriatic Sea, founded by the Croats in 19th century. It has a rich cultural heritage reflected in its monuments, museums, and festivals. The most famous attractions in Shibenik is the Cathedral of St. James, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a masterpiece of Gothic Renaissance art. The cathedral is made entirely of stone without any mortar or nails and has 71 sculpted heads on its facade. Shibenik is a city with a soul and you will feel its spirit as you walk its streets. Number 3. Rijeka Rijeka is the third largest city in Croatia and a cultural and artistic hub. It is located at the point where the eastern peninsula meets the mainland and has a strategic and busy port that connects it to the rest of the world. Rijeka's multicultural identity is reflected in its diverse architecture, which includes Habsburg-era buildings, Venetian houses, and colorful fishing cottages. The city's vibrant revolves around the harbor where you can find cafes, restaurants, and markets. Rijeka also boasts some unique attractions such as the rotunda-shaped Cathedral of St. Vicious, the 13th century Trasat Fortress with its panoramic views, and the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art which showcases local and international artists. Rijeka is an ideal destination for those who seek culture, creativity, and adventure. Number 2. Pula Pula is the largest city in Istria, a peninsula in the northwestern part of Croatia. Pula has a rich and diverse history as it was ruled by various empires such as the Romans, the Venetians, and the Austro-Hungarians. The most impressive legacy of its past is the Roman Amphitheater, also known as the Arena, which is one of the best preserved ancient structures in the world. The arena was built in the 1st century AD and could sit up to 20,000 spectators. Today, it hosts concerts, festivals, and other events. Another remarkable Roman monument is the Temple of Augustus, dedicated to the 1st Roman Emperor, which stands in the main square of Pula. No doubt, Pula is a fascinating city that combines ancient and modern charms and it's a place you shouldn't miss visiting. Number 1. Zagreb Zagreb is the vibrant capital and the largest city of Croatia, where you can experience the best of both worlds, the charm of the past and the buzz of the present. You can start your visit in the upper town, the oldest part of the city, where you can see the majestic Zagreb Cathedral, the colorful St. Mark's Church, and the unique museum of broken relationships which displays objects and stories from failed romances. 
Then you can head to the lower town, the modern and lively area of the city where you can stroll through the beautiful parks such as Zrinjevac and Maximir or visit the impressive museum and galleries such as the Croatian National Theater, the Mimara Museum and the Museums of Contemporary Art. Zagreb is a city that will surprise you with its rich history, culture and art as well as its friendly and welcoming people. You will never run out of things to do and see in this amazing city. Did you enjoy this video? Also, what other travel-related content will you love us to explore in future videos? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and for more thrilling videos, do well to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!